well welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're returning thank you so much today as you've seen by the thumbnail and the title i am going to be reviewing and using the new garnier skin active um aha and bha uh, charcoal anti blemish serum so i saw this advertised i think it was on instagram and i just was like wow that's so cool and then i actually went into boots um and then i saw there was a stand there and the woman was there and she was kind of talking to me about it i was always going to buy it but she really sold it to me um but i just thought it was really cool because i've never seen anything like this so i thought it was a bit unusual so i have literally rolled out of bed i've kind of got ready everything apart from my face and i'm going to do exactly what she told me to do with using the um anti-blemish charcoal serum here so i haven't even seen this bottle at all um so it, it is vegan it is cruelty free um as we know garnier is now certified to cruelty free which is great with the leaping bunny there's 30 mil and suitable for sensitive skin so that's really good to know um now i asked the question if it's meant to help with wrinkles apparently it is so i'm really happy about that because uh times are catching up with me <laughs> so i'm really excited so you're meant to use um let's have a look so apply to a clean face and gently smooth into skin use morning and evening as a daily serum or as targeted treatment on spots caution avoid the eyes of course and then what does it do for your skin so it is their first charcoal serum formulated with four percent aha and bha and this i can't say this word oh my gosh i'm not even going to try and embarrass myself this one here, the, this long word here, um, improves appearance of uh, residual marks and blemishes and surfaces, resurfaces skin for smoother and more even looking skin, which is exciting. So apparently it's meant to have proven results after one, immediately after use, your skin feels uh, mattified and smoother. In seven days, the appearance of my, the texture of my skin should be more refined and toned. Um, and in 28 days, blemishes and pores appear reduced okay we'll see so oh this is cool so this is the bottle i look at look at the serum like it looks a bit like the vinegar in olive oil do you know what i mean even like how it moves <laughs> so it is glass which is great so that's recyclable uh very basic here no no additional information um oh yeah, it does to say recycle on the back as well gives you instructions uh to put it in the uh, glass recycling bins which is great plastic lid and i'm going to presume that is a squeezy bottle like a squeezy syringe thing so before we do that the woman said to cleanse my face so i've got the garnier um uh Mercela cleansing water that i use and i've got my pad so i'm just going to speed this up and cleanse my face okay face is cleansed excuse my eyebrows i really need to get them down quite bad <laughs> so i'm just going to give that a second to set and while we do that let's have a play with the little syringy thing so twists off really easy which is always terrifying isn't it let's be honest and then oh oh it's quite gooey isn't it can you see that is it showing the stringiness on camera so she said you just need like a pea drop size so i'm gonna just pop a little bit oh, i should put my fingers to the pea drop size that doesn't look like a lot, does it? I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, so she doesn't, you don't need much. So it came out really easy. And then rub it over my face. That definitely wasn't enough. I need probably that again for my neck and forehead. Okay, so first initial thoughts. It smells like manly. Oh my God, it reminds me of a lint smell, <laughs> like back in the day. That's really weird. I don't hate it. I really like manly smells. This is just taking me back to something and I don't know what. <laughs> so yeah, it has quite a nice smell. It is a little bit sticky on my hands. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use that cleanser and just wipe my hands quickly. Just give that a second to dry. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill my face and see if that feels sticky. Oh, even when I've done the cleanser, it still feels a bit sticky. I don't have anything else to wipe my um, hands in here. Never mind. Mm. See, my face perhaps feels a little bit kind of tacky, like, but nothing major. I don't know. Do I look glowing already? 
<laughs> yeah, so obviously I did my neck as well, done my face. I don't normally get spots, however, I have got a couple at the minute, so perfect timing on getting an anti-blemish serum. <laughs> so yeah, okay. And then you're meant to put your makeup on over it. So I'm just going to do my usual uh, kind of day-to-day -day makeup. Okay, so it's probably been about another 10 seconds or so while I was just sort of my makeup up. I'm sorting my makeup out, get my words out, Gem. It, it still feels a bit tacky, but it kind of feels quite nice at the same time. It's really weird to describe. You could, If I wasn't to uh, touch my face, I wouldn't know I have anything on other than my nose area. And I generally am quite oily there anyway. But otherwise, I can't feel it anywhere else. Just, <laughs> just moving my face there like a bit of thing. Or maybe a bit on my forehead when I did that. Maybe a bit tighter. <laughs> we'll see. Let's hope it's getting rid of the uh, wrinkles. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for my um, kind of foundation, well, it's not foundation, it's the Tinted Moisturiser from Revolution, the super dewy one. Love this. Free pumps. So I'm just going to put this on really quickly. So I now have the Tinted Moisturiser on my face. Um, from appearance, I don't see any problems at all. I don't know if the camera's picking up anything that I can't see. Mirror's here. That's why I'm looking over here, but... Oh, I've missed the tip of my nose, haven't I? I've just smudged that in a bit. That's embarrassing. <laughs> so I think it looks the same as normal. So what I'm going to do now is just put my um, face powder. We might have a guest in a second. Oh, who she is. Little Lola, if you haven't seen her before. Lola. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Say hello. Who's this? <laughs> so yeah, this is Lola. This is my little daughter. <laughs> so... Powder is going on normally. The tackiness that I mentioned isn't affecting anything, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, I feel like I look normal-ish so far. <laughs> now I'm going to just whack on my blusher. By the way, I'm not a beauty guru, guru or anything like that. So I'm probably going to make some people really cringe while I'm doing my makeup. But this is real life and I am not a YouTube beauty person. <laughs> <laughs> then just my eyebrows I'm going to brush out again there seems to be no stickiness in my eye oh saying that they do feel perhaps a bit thicker like in regards to you know normally they just feel brish bristly but if that makes sense they feel just for like hair but it feels like they've got something on them <laughs> so yeah I just brushed them out I don't feel them in I have naturally quite dark eyebrows so if I'm oh my gosh don't need doing so bad yeah, if I don't need to fill them in, I'm not going to just because they are really quite dark. And when I add extra on, that I mean that they are they, they're looking quite prominent. <laughs> then um, some mascara. Obviously, this isn't going to be affected by it unless obviously the oil does do something. So I did wipe my lips um, just because I naturally do that after I put on my um, tinted moisturizer. Anyway, this is the thing with kitties. Like I love her so so much, but the fluff. Do you know what I mean? So, what do we think? I feel like my face looks like normal. So obviously it's one of those things that immediately, I suppose, what, what did it claim it was going to do? Skin feels mattified and softer. My skin felt tacky, but not too bad. Um, I felt like I didn't look any different. So, I mean, my skin didn't feel softer. However, perhaps that's after I wash everything off tonight, it might feel softer. So we'll see. So we'll see if seven days I have kind of less, these kind of two acne things, well, they're, they're going anyway, so hopefully they'll go. And then blemishes and pores, I'd love to get rid of my pores. Don't look too close, but yeah, I get them quite bad here. I suppose a lot of people do, but you see about my wrinkles? Yeah, we need to start doing something about this. My age is uh, catching up with me. I was quite lucky actually, but then all of a sudden the wrinkles just started to come. Really, don't look too close. Like, I feel like the camera's done me some justice actually. So, thanks, camera. <laughs> so, that was a quick video on the Garnier Skin Active. Really, I'm a sucker for funky things, which is why I really like the look of this. Um, I paid $7.99. It was on offer at Boots. Um, if you can, if they have someone there to speak to, I do recommend it because it might not be for you because there was three new ones. I think there was an orange one and something else. However, I was hoping the black one was going to be for me because it just looked cool. <laughs> so as you can see, obviously, it didn't leave any black on my face, my hands and all that. No, it just really did kind of just disappear, which was awesome. Um, so yeah, I will obviously keep you updated, probably more so on Instagram on this. But um I was really overwhelmed by the amount of people on Instagram who wanted to see a review on this. I was really quite surprised. Um, but yeah, 
literally everyone said yes um so here is the review for you all if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe i will be posting three times a week tuesday thursday and saturdays and i'll be honest with you it's a mix of everything my life my second hand selling uh, beauty vegan cruelty free all sorts of different things food i have a gusto box on the way that may even be live by the time this goes up so yeah really just the life of Gem the vegan <laughs> Have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.